Hi guys, it's Triple C. Uh, I was fixing somebody's computer and what I had to do was to replace a motherboard and it turned out I cannot replace the retail motherboard to this guy's computer because it's got a Dale case that has a uh, it was designed uh, sort of backwards with the uh, PCI expansion at the top of the motherboard instead of the bottom and the case is designed for that therefore I cannot use it and it turned out uh, I replaced the motherboard as well as the case so uh, in the end that we get to keep that Dale case so I was searching the Dale case for whatever parts that we can use and turned out I got this <laughs> A 120 milliliter ABC 110 CFM case fan. Look how thick that thing is. <coughs> yeah, just to compare. And these pieces. So, what we're gonna do is to put this fan in here and then to have this thing installed right here at the back of the case and we'll see how that will work out hopefully that improves the cooling of my case and perhaps I can go a little higher on my overclock okay so this is how it's going to work it's not going to fit in there because it's got this much space. If I put in there, it's got this much space that the screw is gonna go through from there, which is not gonna work. So I'm going to put it right in front of it, and it actually fit in there. I tried it just now, and it's going to be exhausting air. One thing I would like to mention is that they'll just like to make everything out of their own. The way they set out their wires, it's not universal to any other devices. It's in the different setup than any other, any uh, retail model would do. So I had to modify it in order to make it work properly without burning anything, of course. And now it's working perfectly. Just had to uh, change the order a little bit and going to plug that right at that spot over there. I don't know if you can see it right at that spot over there. And it should fit pretty well. Okay, I think so. This monster. Okay, it's now installed. Uh, let's give it an initial test. Wow, it's already getting louder.
out. Uh, my 6000 Plus just doesn't want to go anywhere past uh, 3.5 gigahertz. Uh, I was able to uh, do the temperature test on 3.48 and 3.3 gigahertz, and the result is pretty good. And it's a lot cooler uh, than it used to be with the uh, Cooler Master uh, exhaust fan. This one. And it's one hell of a fan. Uh, you put a lot of air from the case uh, exhaust it out. And imagine if I can install this fan on my CPU itself. Uh, sorry, the CPU cooler itself, then it will probably help even more. Too bad uh, the cooler I have, the way it's designed, there's no way I can fit it in this area. If I don't have this part and this part, I will have it installed right there. And it will probably put a lot of air through the um, CPU cooler. But anyway, it's a really cool cooler. Um, I mean, a fan, and I'll probably use it as a system fan still, except that I might have to modify and then use the, uh, the speed controller from the CPU cooler instead of just uh, plug it into the motherboard. Thanks for watching.